Go, go ahead. Again. Well, as Samantha, Samantha and I were walking here down to Maine, and we just finished talking to our neighbors about what's going on with the corona situation, and here uh, we came across someone who has a couple of things to say to our uh, viewers. Definitely, in fact, very vocal about it. So go ahead, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your name and all that? Hi, my name is Alana, and I am a trans woman in the city of New Orleans who is struggling every single day and every single night to try to have a place to stay in after that shift because there are three homeless shelters here for adults. The Mission, the Salvation Army, and the Asana awesome Army which they claim that they don't accept trans women because they're faith-based. But if they was truly a faith-based shelter, they would have homosexual men and lesbian women in them. They're targeting and rejecting trans women. And not just that, you have this corona shit going around, the law enforcement, and I have seen this three times already, have literally walked up to the people who are sitting on Bourbon Street flying the street sign, trying to get help to where they could get some food or get a shelter or a place to stay. And the police have walked up to them and asked them where's their address or where do they stay. When they said the word homeless to them, they have literally brutally, brutally beat some of these kids up so bad that it's hard, it's ridiculous to watch and throw them in jail after that. There's no help here. A lot of people think that this city is very open-minded and very accepting, but it's not. I'm 28 years old and I'm from here. My real name is Jason Michael Gibson. I am now Alana Nicole Sinclair. Born 8-18-1991. There's no help here at all. And what are we supposed to do for help? We don't know. So my question is, they want us to have the social distancing in New Orleans. And they want everybody off the streets. And so the police are coming by and asking people to move on. You can hear the sirens down the street. Um, do you think that this is putting the homeless population in danger? In danger? Yes, I do. Uh, yes, I do. And, to, you, and it's not just that. Whenever the whole city goes on lockdown for two weeks, NOPD and state troopers are going to be going from door to door throughout the whole city, taking guns, taking knives, whatever weapon you have in your house. And it's going to be very scary because there's going to be a lot of shootings and a lot of killings. Okay. Give me, let's give it a second for this to pass. We'll turn the video back on in just a minute. yourself we're not exaggerating yeah. that shit was deafening and they're calling it martial but it's like like they're calling it war powers it's it's martial law it's martial law make no mistake about it so you're a native New Orleans you're from here yes ma'am we're not from here I'm from Oregon He's and I'm from Odessa my country's okay. at war okay it's on the Black Sea but Samantha and I met at the Halloween Day Parade Aww. by a skeleton <laughs> okay in New York okay. In here. so she's from Oregon, I'm from Odessa, and now we're in Orleans, so three cities with the letter O. That's mm -hmm. got to be some kind of karma. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so yeah. not being from here, um, my question is, have you, were you here during Katrina or any of the others? I was 14 years old when Katrina hit. I'm <laughs> okay. 28 now. So, so you were here. Um, do you think the response of the police is more aggressive for this than then? I mean, the police weren't beating the crap out of people. Okay. like they are now okay and it's not just that also mm -hmm. canada just the sent extra body bags here that's like via fema yeah for dead bodies yeah well that's part we are getting ready to be at war with, mm -hmm. with the law enforcement yeah well i part of it is because the the aging population of new orleans you know over 36 people have already died yeah. Well, because it, of this shit. Yeah. And not just the corona flu. Mm -hmm. From just getting killed. Yeah. So my question is, right now the coronavirus is supposed to be what this social distancing is supposed to be separating. It, the social distancing is supposed to be protecting us from the coronavirus. How is law enforcement protecting us when they're not even helping us? Okay. Yeah. And it's not just I mean, that. law enforcement isn't protecting. Social distancing the is just separating people. The way that law enforcement people. could be protecting, I guess, 
I consider myself homeless because right now I'm bouncing from piddle to post. Mm -hmm. The way law enforcement could help the homeless mm -hmm. is helping us get off the streets. And they're not. So they want, so the, their little message says they don't want people gathering. And they're clearing people off the streets, be they in the fancy hotels here in New Orleans or the homeless people. However, the people that go to the fancy hotels are me and um, Pavel. Pavel. We have a place to go. But for the people that don't have a place to go, what are we supposed where are you supposed to go? And how are you supposed to protect? And how are you supposed to cope? And how are you supposed to how are you supposed to protect yourself you from... Have, you still got a lot of juice left in you. What about somebody's twice that. your age? Yeah. It isn't just that. There's a place on Rampart Street that's not the same. How you guys doing tonight? Good. Hi, Queen. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. No, I got you. You know, I'll cry. <laughs> you know, you might be able to say, fall two shots. <laughs> So this is another person that's on the streets of New Orleans during the blue streak here. <laughs> it's blue yeah. streak. Blue thunder. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you. In New Orleans you tradition. Are, you are <laughs> king. I like your hat, man. Thanks. Are you an artist? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, so you do you think that the social distancing and the shutting down all the businesses and laying off all oh, these people that are no longer not able to work or earn money is going to really help or what's not helping is the mayor okay the how mayor doesn't give a fuck about us guys and how why you would you guys. say the mayor doesn't give a fuck uh, about you guys any time like a human being just because of the bitches to be able to get into a shelter okay no 20 i'll give you two man no i ain't giving you 10 they live free on the street it's not right yeah i give you a couple of bucks the governor's not helping Okay. The mayor's not helping. The NOPD police officers aren't helping. Oh, They're really? actually Y'all just met. making it worse. Yeah. You guys There's no it? help here at all. Yeah. Like so, whenever this whole know, city goes from? down, yeah. I mean She's it goes on lockdown Oregon. for two oh, weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we're in Orleans. NOPD now, right now we're making and state troopers are going to be going from door to door, door mm -hmm. oh, taking guns yeah. or whatever weapon right. is in your house. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be very scary and very bad. There's gonna be a lot of killings. That's what it is. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. And it's just like, what is somebody like myself supposed to do? Yeah. And that's what we're trying to get out there because on the There's news. There's a place on Rampart Street called St. Jude Community Center mm -hmm. that feed homeless people. Mm -hmm. I went there to get breakfast and to go get something to eat. They told me to my face, I'm sorry, we can't give you a meal because you're a man dressed like a woman. That's a discrimination of God, but you're gonna have to leave the building. Mm -hmm. Today that happened. In a situation where we should be, I haven't working. ate nothing since probably. What time is it? Ten. Yeah. The last no, time no, I, it's going. No, it's going to be like it's it's eight thirty-five. Oh, the last time I ate something was probably about four o'clock this morning. So that is what's going on in the streets in New Orleans. Um, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to hear from the mayors, the people on the, you know, the talking heads on Fox News and CNN, and no one is coming down to the streets and seeing what's actually going on the streets. They're both owned by one company, Walt Disney. Did you know that CNN and Fox News is owned by Walt Disney. That's what people don't tell you. If they gave a fuck, they would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They don't so, Fox. La Pavel, you want to end this off? Well, how about we got out a shot of Samantha as well. Yeah. Let's take a new shot of you guys together. You I'm know, stay behind the camera. <laughs> and like I was saying in the previous video, we were talking about tough times don't last. Tough people do. I'm into that. My name is Alana Nicole St. Clair from the city of well, from the state of Louisiana and the city of New Orleans. Please, whoever's out there, if you decide to move here, I advise you don't. <laughs> it's hard. Me. It's scary. There's no help. It's rough. Have a great one. And on that single, wondrous note, take care guys, we will be reporting.